Okay. Welcome to Guru. Right. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, Rocco. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah, it's real it's really it's really good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. So um first I, I want to start out saying is that I'm a huge horror fan, so I love to see oh, thank you, man. making horror films mm -hmm. and that's that's always fun. And we're yeah. here to talk about your your brand new horror film, Dancing Village, the curse be be begins. Yeah. And I, I, I want to say like the first the first film I saw was made in 2020 22 and yeah. it it was the the highest grossing in 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 the Indonesian film. So yeah. was there any pressure on on you to to make this this current film just as big as the as the other one? Of course, it's very huge pressure for me, man. I mean, this is a again, this is a a, a, um, a spin off from the first one, right? I mean, this is something we particularly talk about the main entity here. And the pressure is there because the first one is very successful. And when we made it, we we try to have those elements in, you know, the, the elements that to made it success and also uh, make it new. <laughs> That's a very big challenge. And and in order to do that, we actually make it more bigger, probably, yeah. from the first one. You, if you can see, if you ever watch this film, it's 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 the different scale. It's a different scale from the first one, and and actually, and but uh, the elements also from the first one, I have to put that in, and and seeming seemingly and naturally. So I think that's the one big of a, a difference from and 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 huge pressure for for to make this this works oh yeah definitely because yeah like like you were saying the first film did did so so well one the yeah. biggest film there and yeah. and and you have to try to make this this film live 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 up to the other one and, and yes. you, you know, draw the fans in <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly man exactly now that's pretty much a challenge right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, for for anyone who doesn't know about the film can you tell us a little bit about it well it's set up in um a, forget about the first one because uh if you watch this uh standalone movie i think you will know about this uh I, I mean you will get the story you know without have to knowing the first one um the um the uh the first one is actually about i think it's pretty much 20 years after with and this is this 1980s and this is a story about this one character trying to find out what's happening towards her mother and because of this, the mother actually uh, have a great ill and she cannot explain, even the doctors cannot explain why. And in our culture, in our Indonesian root culture, it's pretty much normal to, to call out someone that uh, non-medical, non-medical yeah. sense, like a sort of like a, maybe a shaman or something like that. Yeah. And it's pretty much normal in our society. And she did that. And the shaman said that she have to go towards this village to settle off something. And without, you know, in desperate measure, I think she's, you know, uh, trusting this advice. And she actually went there to this village. And what she found that it's particularly, you know, um, uh, connected towards what her mother doing, and that's the mysteries begin, and and then, and, and she and with some of her friend, um, you know, sort of have to solve this problem, and hopefully hoping that the mother will get cured in 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 solving the matters. 
Oh yeah, and and yeah. it it all in, involves around the bra the bracelet too. Yes, and also uh, yeah, because someone found this bracelet. Uh, the the shaman found this bracelet and tell that she have to take it back towards this village in mm -hmm. you know far east Java. And yeah, did that that village did dan the dancing village like that. Yeah. That, that was very creepy, like very, very airy. Where, yeah. where is the village at? <laughs> <laughs> in real, in real, it's it's located somewhere in East Java, man. Oh, okay. East Java, yeah. So uh, there is this village. So the author told me that. Wow. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Where did where did you wind up filming it at? Oh, we we. We're not filming in the real location because uh, there's a lot of restriction there in, in East Java. So we, we we bring the story and we shot it at the middle of um, central of Java and then an, an area called Monosari. So it's two hours from the big city in, in, in mid Java. And yeah, it's it's also, you know, it has those, you know, bits and pieces of the forestness the same as East Jaffa. So we we shot there then we yeah. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um <clears throat> this is from from what I read like this is the first film made for for I for for I I Max in Southwest yeah. Asia, right? Yeah. Southeast wow, Asia, yeah. That's actually huge because like when yes. you go to the movies to see that, like, if it, it feels like the movie's coming coming out to you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty immersive, man. It's pretty immersive. So, so you're definitely gonna have a lot of fans screaming and running out of the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, that's that's the thing, man. That's uh, that's what we aim for. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is there is uh, like without giving too too much uh, away because I I know the film's not out in it, but um mm -hmm. was there like a certain scene that you liked the most or you had the most fun shooting? Um, I think the dancing sequence in the last part is really fun to shoot because that, that's the first time I I've, I've worked with choreographer to actually make the dancing. And this is the traditional Indonesian dancing, right? In wow. that particular area. So it's very interesting. And, and I think um, we have a great collaboration going on and, and to make the scene uh, mystically enough that, that, you know, make the people's kind of creepy on it. Yeah, that's, that's one, of, one of the favorite scenes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> the last question I'm going to ask mm. you is, you know, making a horror film like this, I, I love horror films that are like airy and spooky and have like mm. a lot of mystery around it. Like what kind of yeah. horror films do you like to watch? Um, The ones that, you know, have a, a minimum of a jump scare, a very minimum jump scare, but you get that creepy psychological feeling of fear in terms of, you know, it haunts you even, even when you finish watching the film, you know, that's a horror movie that I need to watch. Oh yeah. And, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when's the movie coming out? Like where, where could fans follow them, follow the film and follow you at? I think in the U S they're going to come up with uh, on a 26th. And I think this Friday, so better to catch it on IMAX to get the full immersive experience of it. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Roko. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you, man. <laughs>